hurts Fucking life sucks, everything hurts Everything is rolling Alright, uh, welcome to the Everything Hurts podcast You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking fuck the intros now Because why am I doing them? <laughs> why, like, we don't have sponsors I don't, I'm not, like, talking about shit So I'm just gonna introduce the podcast with the get and like you know we'll play the theme song before because fuck the intros i don't care uh so welcome to everything hurts podcast <laughs> where we, we have, have our... no vital information to give you <laughs> yeah and you know what i like to 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 uh break down the fourth wall or whatever it's called mm. uh you know just let let everyone in on what's going on we're all a part of the podcast now uh we have our guest alice hamilton on Hello. today she's dressed lovely i'm dressed like a waitress at islands um so <laughs> for you though thank you you yeah. know what i always wanted to like when i was a kid i like i, I didn't want to go like full-on like hooters but you know those 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 um restaurants that are just like all the waitresses are just like cute like they're just like little blondes wearing hawaiian shirts like hi i'm Brittany, and i'm gonna serve your nachos or whatever maybe that's just a huntington beach thing but like <laughs> um, they didn't have cute people where i came from so. <laughs> they didn't have that. but like that was like my dream i was like i'm gonna grow up and i'm gonna be Brittany serving the nachos waitress? that was your dream i a cute waitress cute waitress yeah oh, neither no. happened <laughs> well you, you you go either way cute waitress or racist stepdad it is a <laughs> in huntington beach yeah, yeah those yeah. are the two <laughs> options have you guys uh, ever been to the restaurant Twin Peaks? It's like no, it's like, but it's I like Hooters, but they're just like log cabin girls and like flannel tie ups and little shorts. Oh, uh, that's gonna get me. That's my yeah. <laughs> I knew someone I'm, who worked there. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm yeah. Going there now for dinner. Today. They were like <laughs> <laughs> they were like yeah, like short little kilts basically, and yeah. like yeah. Uh, I had a friend who worked there, and she was she would spend like four hours getting ready for work every day, and I'm like, you're girl, you're making minimum wage. Why? Do they wear like Timberlands? Like, like, I didn't look at the shoes. Maybe I'm a little <laughs> I'm no better than a man. Because yeah, I find out look. I'm gay. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Boobs are hard not to look at. They're Fucking just. Yeah, they're great. They're they're nice. They're nice. I, will, will you turn track one up just a little bit? So yeah. Yeah. That board's really colorful and it's it's cool as shit. I don't know yeah, it's actually it not even the it's like a not the best but i like the way it looks <laughs> no it does look fucking yeah. dope i want to press all those colorful buttons i don't yeah, know the what fuck those they do. buttons do uh there's the, a lot of don't hit the sound pads because ramsey made all the sound pads <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've, we've tried that yeah, before yeah, it, yeah, it, it doesn't work it's very strange <laughs> tom's like i gotta do it now yeah, i, I want to do it yeah have we not done this yet with you no <laughs> we haven't okay. just pressed all the buttons the teal one oh that's oh, cool you're gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alice doesn't have headphones on, cause you, so you can't hear this, right? Has anything changed? It's, I can't tell. It's it's ISIS music. How long is this? It's an ISIS thing. It's ISIS music. It actually slaps. Do this slap so hard? It's gonna get you a copyright thing though. We've got shut down. For that. Oh, oh, oh really? Wait, yeah, yeah. ISIS. How, do, how do we turn it off? We'll just hit the button again. <laughs> You're playing both right now. It's <laughs> no. turned into a site. That actually, the fact that you just fat fingered that means we won't get a copyright strike because it no, was perfect. playing like it's a playing like Lincoln Park and ISIS at the same time. Uh, no, who's that was like not whatever. Who's gonna come after you, ISIS? ISIS is like yeah, ISIS copyright our shit. No, no, no. It, it's just on ISIS's Who's playlist. ISIS's lawyer? ISIS didn't oh. write it. <laughs> ISIS just likes it. ISIS writes and records music. That's <laughs> yeah. literally what I thought. No, 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 no. I mean, hey, anyone yeah. can be creative. I thought they of had course. like a theme song, like Two and a Half Men or something. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's uh, it's music they like <laughs> for fans of FFO uh -huh. ISIS. I mean, I yeah. liked it. So. No, it's great. It's a great yeah. melody. All that prayer music is sick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most religious music is good. That's yeah, evangelicals true. are really the ones fucking it up, but a lot of other religions have like really beautiful music. Yeah. And I used to be in choir in high school and like we used to sing like, yeah, very religious song. And it was just like, I'm not religious, but it was fucking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Dude, yeah, Silent get... Night. Fucking, I love that that's song. A that's a great song. song. That, that song can make me cry. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Noel makes me cry. All that's of it. I fucking one. love See, that I, song. I think of all these as Christmas songs. Yeah, but they're also about Jesus Christ and his birth and shit. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. Christmas, dog? Yeah. Christmas, 
<laughs> no, it's, Christmas is a. It what are the used first five be, letters of Christmas? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a capitalist holiday. It's, it's oh, oh, in America. Okay. It is, which is why, because like I'm not, I'm not religious at all. But like I'm like I still love Christmas. Like I love Christmas for the Hallmark holiday. It is like I like the Hallmarkiness of it. I like buying you know fucking Christmas pajamas and a and a sugar cookie candle and yeah. drinking hot cocoa. I love gift giving. I treat it a little bit like a competition. I for my uh, like for me and, and Chris for our first Christmas together, my boyfriend I got him a, a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh, eat that, Chris. What did he get? What did he get you? Oh, uh, I don't even fucker remember. Probably oh. like a gift card to uh, Alta or something. But I was like, yeah. I was like, I win, I win. You would you would give me so much anxiety because I always I already, that, I'm terrible at Dude, buying people gifts. Gift giving in relationships it like causes me so much anxiety. Like and especially when you haven't been dating that long, you're like, I don't want to go too big with it because then I look like a psycho like yeah. I don't want to yeah. go too small with it because then I look like I don't care like yeah. I I don't mind like when people get me gifts that are like whatever and honestly even my boyfriend I'm like there's there's so few things that I trust him to buy for me mm-hmm. where it's like if I tell him I want like these tights or this nail polish it's like is he gonna get the right shit or right. not and mm-hmm. so I'm like I don't give a fuck what they give me I just really like seeing people be like oh shit I really wanted this I don't know why just something yeah. I love. No, it's a great feeling when you give something and you can see they're not lying on their face to you and they yeah. actually enjoy it. Yeah. I haven't been able to pull that off many times, but <laughs> like it is a rewarding feeling to be like, oh, I gave something that someone's enjoying. Are right you now. good at pretending you like something when you don't? Or are you just kind of like, oh, I, I, I'm always just amazed someone gave me anything. <laughs> right. The whole, makes, the like, I don't counts. really care. Like. There aren't a ton of gifts. I'm like, I don't know. I'm a pretty simple dude. Like, I don't need. Yeah. Anything that is being given is either bonus or essential for me. Like, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Socks. So, yeah, yeah. That's probably like, if I were going to get you a present, I would get you like socks and underwear. I, and love, I feel like you would be that's so a good Oh, job. I honestly yeah. would be. Yeah. yeah, yeah nice Especially socks. if they're the right size. Yeah. 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 Gifts. Extra small. <laughs> <laughs> Gifts are nice because I feel like in my adult life, there's not many people that I would like buy a birthday gift for. You know, like I wish them a happy birthday. So yeah, it always like floors me. Like uh, Katrina Davis, who's been on this podcast, like for my birthday gave me like a card. And like I'm like, who gives people cards anymore? That's so nice. Like I know. nobody uh, like gives people cards and like writes them a little note. I've always and- told her I'm gonna find where she's hiding bodies. <laughs> <laughs> she's just too but, nice. I've never yeah. met anybody that nice in my life. Yeah, and I've known yeah. her for like sweetheart. seven years. She's so sweet. And she hasn't she's been slipped that up nice once. Since day one. I've known her forever. And girl. she's funny. So like the fact that you can be nice There's bodies. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's, There's no bodies. way. There's no way. <laughs> Speaking of gifts, Tom, I. I got you one. Oh, that's terrifying. I got you one because, you know, um, people were mad that you were not shirtless in the last couple episodes. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to expect him to be who shirtless was, every time. Who was mad? The, the people. Commenters. There, there, there were, were commenters. Com- I haven't looked at there, the comments. I even posted, yes, they were mad. They were like, why does Tom have a shirt on? I don't understand. Uh-huh. So I wanted to give you uniform <laughs> options. Okay. You know? And so I got you this. It's a, it's a 3XL. Um, <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking That's beautiful. So fun. Oh, you know what? Are you daddy? That's your new uniform. I'm daddy. Yeah. I'm the daddy of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over my current shirt. No, 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 no. As a fuck you to anyone who has opinions on what I do. You want me to take my hair shirt off? I'll put two on. <laughs> You know what? Yes, do whatever you want. We're all about um, consensual objectifying here. So, yeah, I bought I bought a little tube top, <laughs> and the tube top says I have no tits, and I love wearing it. <laughs> I have huge tits. It's ironic. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's little slut. I feel like if Crystalia had a daughter, that's what her onesie would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the juxtaposition of, of that and then the uh, giant cross earrings over here yeah. that we have going on. I bought these when I was still very Christian, and I just, when I stopped being Christian, I kept them because I think they're still sick. You know what's funny is I did that too. I was never religious, but I loved a good cross necklace. Like, yeah. they make really pretty ones, and mm-hmm. they just look so delicate and pure, and you're just like, look at and and it also i like i like like if you're a girl and you and you are wearing a cross necklace but it's like 
clearly just drawing attention to your tits. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think uh, that's a that's a nice juxtaposition. <laughs> I think it's uh, yeah. What do you think? Do you feel pretty about that? I what feel do you think like, about the I shirt? Like a, do you like it? I feel like a dirty whore. Good. Good. But that's... in the like positive. In an empowering in a positive way. way. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, Tom. no, I feel fucking stupid as I, hell right I want now. You to I'm be, being totally honest. I want you to be an empowered slut. <laughs> I'm feeling stupid as shit. I don't, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. I think. <laughs> the thing is, you know, eventually it's going to come down to all your clothes are going to be so dirty that you're going <laughs> to you're gonna wear that because you have to. I'll wear, this is my new laundry shirt. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> By the way, for my the, uh, dad would not get the humor in this <laughs> shirt at all. <laughs> my dad would oh my be, god! Please just wear this home and walk into your house with just no explanation. You need at to all. wear that to dinner on Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad will be con- <laughs> my, my my dad will be confused, but you're like I don't know. He's always doing weird shit. My mom will be horrified. My uh, mom is. Re- <laughs> For the listeners that aren't uh, watching the podcast, uh, I did give uh, Tom a, a tank top that That's says to says Daddy's water. Little Slut. Yeah. Um, Which is also my tattoo. Yeah. If I wore that in front of my dad, all he would say is, you think you're little? <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, <laughs> I think my dad would just be like, please don't. Include me in whatever the fuck you do <laughs> yeah. outside of the house. It is pretty. I'm. It's it's uh nice that they sell that in a three XL. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. inclusive. Well, the, Everyone yeah, can be. They little. want the, <laughs> the struggling artist comedian podcast uh, like markets yeah, yeah. to be able to get their. Yeah, irony needs to run in big sizes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's no <laughs> extra small who farted T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, of course I come quick. I got fish to catch. Yeah, yeah. 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 That starts at double XL. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really mad someone got to that shirt first. That would be great merch for this podcast. Yeah. Where did you find this? Etsy on on Amazon. You know, hate Fucking to promote pesos. Amazon, but uh, you know, sometimes they strike gold. They right. did have those um, Jeff chast- Bezos, those chastity belts daddy. too. <laughs> What's that? They had chastity belts on Amazon too. I learned from this podcast. Oh really? God. Yeah, yeah. We had, oh, because oh, you looked it up. Yeah, because Tom was supposed to wear one. I think you can find anything on Amazon. Wait, is that come up? What on happened? This you podcast? all just pick some weird shit for him to wear every episode. <laughs> yeah, no, he usually just goes no shirt. I bet. Uh, yeah. You know, he's our, he's the eye candy of the podcast. We needed eye candy to course. draw um, viewers. Mm-hmm. You It'd know? be foolish not to have some. People were listening but not viewing. And so, uh, you know. Titties out. Solve that problem. Yeah, We I mean, brought Tom, in a Tom sex symbol. Bear of bears. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. 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 I'm bear daddy. Mm-hmm. Bear daddy? Bear daddy. Bear, bear daddy's little slow. Yeah. Yeah. It is weird something because I don't, I don't, I, we, we've met before, but I don't really know you. It would be weird if I just like sat down and took my shirt off without <laughs> explanation. <laughs> You I mean, know what? I, I've known Nicole, so if that's what happened, I'd be like, all right, this is her little setup. I'm coming. It's like, we're here, we're here, and we're doing it. Dude, you should shave a tie pattern into your, like a, a necktie pattern into your chest hair. Oh, oh, so oh that would be fun. It looks like you're wearing a tie. I have so- thought, I've done so much disrespectful shit to my body for <laughs> semi funny shows. <laughs> <It's like> a- <laughs> I bleached. I ble- in quarantine, I was bored, so I just bleached a dick under my chest hair. Sure. And I was like, this is funny. And then I thought about it, I was like, no one can see me. What the fuck am I doing? Like, yeah, I guess yeah. I could throw it on Instagram. But then that feels weird to be like, ah, see, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you got to do some things for you, though, man. You know, if the, yeah. if the bleach dick makes you smile, then fuck everyone else. It did, <laughs> until I remember the bleach stays bleached. It doesn't. It's has got to grow it out. It's not temporary bleach. It is. Permit. You know, I really want men to get more into chest hair art. I want y'all to like wax it into cool shapes and shit like women mm-hmm. do with their pubic hair. Yeah. Not, you know. not their chest hair. Yeah, not our chest hair. <laughs> yeah. Like a Brazilian kind of lightning bolt. You could yeah, have a tie. Bolt. You could have a little heart or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could put a carnation. Put an arrow just pointing to your dick. You can do whatever you want. I'd be into any of it. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Have, you guys, have you guys ever gotten anything waxed? No. No. No, no I, I couldn't. 
My, I have pretty thick hair. But in yeah. my defense, I've dated a lot of girls with hairy armpits and hairy legs, so I wasn't. I was It was. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, there's no. Uh, <laughs> no one's shaven. Nobody right. was getting waxed. I, I, I have. I actually just remembered. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Kind of. I was doing a comedy show in Oklahoma, and we had a dominatrix. I don't know. People who know mean boys, we had a dominatrix, and when something would bomb, yeah, they hurt us. And the dominatrix, it's amazing. Uh, did she did not give me a heads up? She just decided. Sorry, my fucking phone just got like <laughs> <Damn. laughs> That's so embarrassing. I'm, I'm running ads for a show right now. I was just posting an ad. I was like, Tom's telling a story I can check out for a minute and post an ad. Not that the story's boring, I just won't have to contribute. And then the speaker was on. Do you know how many times I've been like looking for a clip for this podcast or whatever and then kind of left it on and then gotten in my car and then plugged it in and someone got in my car and my own podcast is playing and I'm like, I don't listen. I don't. This isn't a thing. I'm sorry. That's so embarrassing. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, she poured candle wax into my ass. Into your ass? Into my ass, yeah. What does that mean? Like, how was, were you spreading your cheeks? No, I was kneeling, uh, and... It just kind of ran down the crack of your ass? I mean, yeah, because that's where she poured it. Yeah. She mm-hmm. poured, she like, pulled my pants back and then just dumped Hot candle wax. wax. So, I, it wasn't a but waxing, was, but there was wax involved, and it took out a lot of hair. But it was like a, uh, was it, because I, there's like, there's like sex candle wax, and there's like regular candle wax. Like, sex candle wax. It's like movie glass? It, 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 yeah, it do, yeah, yeah, it doesn't get as hot. Um, whereas like regular, which um, I was... Uh, with someone uh, who did not know that at one point and um, decided that he was just going to take a candle and <laughs> the wax on me. Uh, it blistered you? It, it burnt me, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that it was hot, but it definitely was wax. Yeah. Like, it, it, it burnt. There's a photo of me receiving the candle wax. But, yeah, it definitely stuck. Like, it re-hardened. Yeah. yeah, and that was just a mess I had to deal with while being like couch surfing in Missouri. <laughs> oh, you didn't even have a hotel? No, we were staying. Uh, we were staying with the uh, listeners of the show, and I spent oh, maybe boy. two hours in the shower trying to get all the wax wow. out of me. And yeah. you got a so you got a hairy ass. I got a hairy every like, yeah. No, I got a hairy every like. Yeah. It's, it, it it always feels weird. Like yeah, since we're talking about my body hair, <laughs> I well I feel like well no I storytelling show don't tell. I like, no, but I've seen guys who are hairy everywhere, but then like their ass isn't hairy for some reason. They're shaving. They're just shaving their ass. Yes, just their ass. That's very weird. Yeah, <laughs> very strange. <laughs> well, you do love fucking normal men, so this is out of. <laughs> Oh uh, my! D- uh, yeah, I don't. I I don't think I've ever dated a normal man in my entire life. Which, well, like, what's normal? But like, uh, yeah, uh, there's always something. Not not shaving anything or shaving the. Well, whole no, body that honestly, normal. none of the none of those people were people that I actually dated. Those were just people I fucked. All the people I've dated have been like I fairly you were hairless. Who showed me their assholes. <laughs> 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 just people who have bent over in yeah. front of me. Like, I don't want to do anything with it, but you want to take a peek? Yeah, I've 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 dated um, pretty hairless men. I think I date men that aren't very testosterone-y because I'm very testosterone-y. So like, it, you know, sounds like an awful Italian dish. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah. sounds like some Chef Boyardee type of shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> with the with the sauce, the, t- the, the, <laughs> the gravy, you like that testosterone sauce, hamburger yeah. helper testosterone. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, fairly hairless. Uh, but you know, every once in a while, I'd I'd fuck a very hairy man with a hairless ass. So, you it's know, weird bragging. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know. Do you experience a lot of hairy asses? Uh, I don't experience a lot of hairy asses. I, I don't. I, I feel like, though, I've heard some guys talk about how, like, it's just easier to wipe with if your ass does not have, like, a fucking tuft of hair. So I feel like some guys will shave their ass for just, like, 
I don't know. Hide easier to wipe. It's easier yeah. to wipe their ass. Uh, yeah. That's the, uh, the worst. Or experience. like it gets like, in the hair or something. Do they have arthritis in their hands? I, I feel like someone has said well, to me in college, like it was like peanut butter in a shag carpet or something like that. Yeah. Cause like think of like if you put like something on your skin versus in your hair and how much easier that is to get off. I, I But I, I feel like God has a way. And there's um, <laughs> and the hair it seems to just be a ridge of hair on the ass crack, but yeah. I, I don't know who has hair like around their hole. Yeah, my my hole is spotless. Yeah, most holes I have are. an excellent hole. How do I you know like, that? Also, who's looking for because I've never had this problem. Yeah, <laughs> this is just what I've I've never been wiping my ass and been like, this is just too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a better way. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. Yeah. Once yeah. I dislocated my shoulder, and that that was, I believe that. Yeah, is that yeah. true? But dislocated your shoulder wiping no 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 oh. i like i fucked up my shoulder i don't know if it was oh dislocated, and then it was hard to wipe yeah. because you dislocated your yeah shoulder. i wasn't like i didn't go with too much vigor <laughs> and be like fuck look karma like i don't know i that look it's it's an odd angle maybe you could, i don't know i just i just uh i'm just it's super aggressive into my I, asshole I, I hurt myself in the most like it's never in a cool way like it's always in just a uh like i hurt myself at the gym this week and it wasn't like working out it was just getting off the machine like i like jumped <laughs> off the machine and landed wrong and then i was like well i was like five minutes into my workout and was like because i was just warming up and i was like well i guess i'm done now yeah it's time to hit the showers yeah <laughs> uh which that is the best part uh, just like the pool the hot tub the sauna, the sauna yeah. oh the steam room that's all i do at a gym dude yeah <laughs> i'll go i'll go i'll run for like 10 minutes and then i'll be like all right uh time and then and then and then there's like the juice bar and like the uh yeah i just like all the amenities i like all the uh juice bar what gym are you going to there's like a, you know like there's gyms with juice bar the one i was at on wednesday and it's only because i had a guest pass uh like someone else had a membership and uh, but i was at an equinox so there was like oh. a, a smoothie bar yeah i imagine working out is the worst part of being in an equinox they probably have a bunch of amenities oh, yeah. that are nice yeah. as hell yeah 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 i barely are you stepping around out. ring lights because everybody's like filming their workout <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it really is it's just like a place to go and look hot make content yeah, yeah. And, and and uh I think guys fuck there. Yeah. Well, wherever there are guys, there's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> each other though. Yeah, I knew each other. Uh, but, um, I, what I said still stands. <laughs> <laughs> Cause yeah, it's just a bunch of hot guys in one who like in one place. Like the just hot, muscly dudes, uh, with like luxury showers that they can go into. Are you into that like WWE type of body? No, no, no. Uh, I'm more of a, uh, uh, you know what? No, I've always been more into the just kind of like skinny dudes. Yeah. Too, yeah. too much muscles I also have always kind of thought is gross. Like for a half second when Zac Efron was actually an adult man and he stopped doing his hair like high school musical, I was like, oh, you're kind of you're kind of attractive. I get it now. But then he just went so far into the muscles thing. Yeah. I was like, yeah. and you lost me. Well, it, and it makes me feel self-conscious. <laughs> like I'm like, it, I feel like if, guys like work out that much then they they are i feel like they're judging my body which probably not all of them are but i feel like most guys that i see like when i was like on dating apps if they were if they look like that they'd be like i want a girl who goes to the gym and i'm like all right well fuck you yeah. <laughs> like, the only thing i'm doing in the gym is yeah, sitting in the sauna <laughs> yeah i'm not uh dude like i i i realize like how out of shape I am like I played slow pitch softball last week and I was so sore the next day and <laughs> slow pitch softball should not be something that makes yeah. you sore like that is like where you go to drink beer and like <laughs> slowly jog to first base and, like I was so fucking sore and I was like this is embarrassing like I need to do something about this dude I like my fucking <clears throat> shoulders were so sore because I was pushing a kid on the swing for like uh, five or yeah. ten minutes and I was like I am fucking out of shape yeah I mean like they well the, sometimes it's just muscle muscles that you don't normally use and then you're you're using them all of a sudden and uh, i feel like i never use any of my muscles i really yeah, never do i don't either i spend most of the t my time uh sitting on the couch or uh yeah that's about it <laughs> <laughs> mostly mostly doing that uh, such good shape. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, what? Some people are in better shape than you expect them to be. And like, there's people that's who... That's not the situation. <laughs> some, <laughs> there's people who look like really like skinny and like like women who look really skinny and, and healthy and stuff. And then they... Not, not equating skinny with healthy. I mean, they look like... There's girls who look like... Uh, Tone. Yeah, like bikini model, like Victoria's Secret models. And they like can't run for like two minutes. And then there's yeah. like people who are fucking athletes who are, you know, bigger. It just like, oh, you yeah, never the know. motherfuckers that do shot put in the Olympics yeah. Oh yeah, could just fucking like destroy. I feel like they, you know, punch through my car. Like, yeah, yeah. they're all built like Tom. Yeah. yeah. You have a shot put body. Yeah. Which is yeah. sick. I've, <laughs> I've always told Tom, I've always told him he looks athletic to me. Yeah, you do. No, I mean, That's, I, I yeah, used you, to be. What's funny yeah. is I was, I was, just, I I was like, I was just fucking small, but I was dense at the same yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Powerful. Um, yeah, because I was like fast uh, for someone built like me. But well, you seem like you could also like fight, like do like MMA shit or like uh, yeah. I didn't Muay Thai for like a little bit when I had to be sober. That was how I got it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That was, that Would you make cool. sounds when you threw a punch? Like a huh! no, I I bre- like breathe, but yeah, yeah, none of that like Hadouk and shit. You wouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh man, no, no, I should have. Yeah. The point was to get hit by women who were way way smaller than me. <laughs> that was always the fucked up thing. Like Brazilian jiu jitsu, I do Brazilian jiu jitsu, and there would always be like. Some ninety pound five two woman, and I'm like, we're gonna. Do, I'm like, I would, I'd be worried. I would like hurt her or something just because of the size difference. And then within like ten seconds, she's like choking me with her left leg. Yeah, yeah. dude. My I'm um, like, what the? I don't know what the fuck did like. Yeah. My old roommate uh, d- does jujitsu, and she uh, she was at the comedy store, and Mitch Burrow was like, oh, I could I could like fight you, and she's like. <laughs> Wait, Obviously, he said this too, this like <laughs> he would get one hammered third the night. size of, and yeah. she just fucking she ruined him, and That's he's like right. fucking three <laughs> times her size. That's the thing about because I went with her to a few classes, and like as a woman, it made me feel like so powerful because like you were you were like doing it with these like big dudes, but it doesn't matter if you can get them in the right position, Leverage, yeah. and yeah. then your legs are like your legs are just like the most powerful part of your body, yeah. and so if you can just like yeah get your legs Let's around their em. neck and just <laughs> yeah. fucking uh, like yeah. <laughs> oh it feels so good and like I don't know it it definitely makes you feel more powerful. I gotta go back to doing that. What fucking Wacko is pointing out women he thinks he could beat up. Oh, <laughs> like Mitch, Mitch, anyone at the comedy Mitch. store. <laughs> Mitch is one of the least harmless of them. He, yeah, he's, I mean, like at least he's getting, he's saying. I it. think, I think he just wanted uh, to roll on the floor with her. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the, the least harmless or the most least? Uh, oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so the most harmful. No, wasn't there no, like some? Harmless. There was some sort of like like poll or something it was like some really high statistic of men just felt like they could beat serena williams in tennis are you serious (laughs) just just because she was a girl yeah oh my god (laughs) yeah i think uh didn't didn't one of the williams sisters play a guy and didn't he destroy it was a professional guy it wasn't just like some bro off the fucking street she she like challenged the i think like the some maybe like under the top 20 of the male athletes she was like i want to like play one of you and then he won was it Serena or Venus? I'll look it up. I do not remember. It's one I'll of them. Just put William's sister. <laughs> I hope it. I hope it was Venus, so I could say like I'm sure if it was Serena, she would have won. Just because I want to believe uh, that the best female tennis player could be. He was ranked 203rd in the world, which is still like mm-hmm. that's. He, there's seven billion people. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was the, <laughs> yeah. being the 203rd yeah, best yeah. at something is impressive. <laughs> And he beat Serena six one six, and then he beat Venus six two. So he did one set against each of them. Oh, okay, yeah. they both played him. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, nice. whatever. Who needs to be good at tennis? Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, scoring. I mean, yeah. I I don't know. There's any female professional athlete could beat me at anything. I have no delusions yeah. about yes. that. That's like a wild delusion to have. Oh yeah, dude. A fucking the the world's greatest 
female Olympic ping pong player could kick the shit out of me. <laughs> I Not feel, even in ping pong, just in general. Like I feel like that was gymnastic. a thing with R- Ronda Rousey, too. Like I think a bunch of like regular-ass dudes thought they could beat Ronda Rousey in a fight because... Just because it's weird when people take credit for other people's stuff, like 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 as a dude looking at LeBron James and being like, "Man, we are great." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's a wild way to think. <laughs> Man, we, we are something special. <laughs> this just reminded me that, like before COVID, on one of the last episodes of your podcast, I think it was on Mean Boys, Ramsey had claimed that he thinks that if I trained for six months and he trained for two weeks that he could beat me in a fight and we were going to like do it <laughs> and then it never happened. Yeah, but he has a background though. He wrestled. Oh, he does he? Oh, that's sneaky sh- bastard. Fucking yeah. cheater. Fucking yeah, yeah. cheater. Yeah. All right. It's just like, how can, how can I get a woman to fight me? I got to beat up a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think I might outweigh Ramsey though. Uh, He's and, a little guy. Yeah. Oh, and, you know what? The first time that I went to like kill tony in like 2000 and might have even been 17 uh they were having like a weight challenge jeremiah was gonna eat jeremiah was gonna eat a bunch of junk this. food and tony was gonna work out for like 30 days and see and who see gained who the most weight. and tony really thought he would win and he gained like 0.3 of <laughs> and like jeremiah gained like, like 30, 30 pounds, pounds in a Jesus month Christ. he was drinking warm ice cream for breakfast yeah it was so <laughs> disgusting <laughs> And did Tony feel like he lost that competition? Because it sounds like <laughs> sounds like he won it. Well, I think I think they were arguing about which yeah. one would make you gain weight faster. Tony thought he could pack on more muscle quicker than Jeremiah could pack on fat. So, like right, the winning right. part Has was. He ever said something smart? That's one of the dumbest <laughs> things I've ever heard. Or he's trying to trick his friend into gaining. <laughs> That's, That's also yes. true. That's the, also the true. The winning part was being right. But I guess, yeah, in the long run. Uh, yeah, Tony stepped on the scale in front of everybody, and it was like 130 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Flyweight. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if that like makes me want to make fun of him or makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> I always hate uh, being heavier than a dude. That <laughs> feels good. Oh, my, my, I like, I I I like sure being heavier a than a dude. Mm. Uh, one time my my boyfriend accidentally put on my pants and they just like fit him perfectly <laughs> and i was like i hate i hate this <laughs> you say you like being heavier than the dude oh like if i if i like meet a guy who's like smaller than i am uh like for and because usually those guys will just be kind of like antagonistic a little bit just like a little bit petty and you're like is this the thing that's fucking bothering you for so sure it's like it is. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'm taller than you. I weigh more than you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can tell it's pissing you off. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, there'll be guys that are just like, you know, oh, like you're you're tall in those heels, and I'm like, relax. It, 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 it like you, you don't even have to mention it. I know I'm tall in the yeah, heels. That's like yeah. that bagel guy. Remember the bagel guy? Fucking bagel oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bagel boy. Yeah. Ba- oh, is that the guy who? He was a short guy. Short guy. He started screaming at every every person in a restaurant, and then he got a little minor. Yeah, he got two weeks. Of a career of just being angry about being short. Yeah, I think I think uh, society <laughs> <fucking> is <laughs> society is now trying to uh, make those men feel better about themselves. Short kings, yeah. Short kings, and I, yeah, I'm like, short I, kings summer apparently. I don't want to body shame anybody, but then it's like some short guys are just like they'll they'll body shame women like extra hard because they're like you guys can do it to me i'm fucking you fat whore and then yeah you're like Wh- whose side are you on man like, yeah. yeah yeah well like i i mean i don't condone either one like girls who put like must be over six Fuck feet that. in there whatever like yeah i think that's fucked yeah. up like uh i you know what's weird <clears throat> i don't because i don't i also don't want to waste my time with someone with that attitude if that makes sense it is nice when a shitty person just lets you know they're shitty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. That's true. Yeah, if someone, like, even if I was under 120 pounds, uh, if someone put must be under 120 pounds, I'd be like, gross. Like, yeah. swipe left, you know? But like, also, like, you got to, you, you stopped on that person's profile who says you must be over six feet tall because you th- noticed something that you thought was hot about. I mean, it's a grocery store. So, like, yeah. I don't. I, sure. It, it's like you get rid of the height requirements. It doesn't change how fucking, it's still shopping. Uh, you know what I mean? The dating apps. Yeah. Like, they're just inherently like that. Well, it, no. it really is. It's like online shopping for people. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very strange. Well, uh, the, the other thing is, like, if people have certain requirements, like, if they're not articulate about their requirements, 
that doesn't mean they're going to feel differently. They're still going to be shallow. Like It's true. I mean, the shitty thing about um, online dating, like there's only one thing. There's so many <laughs> things. But the, sh- the, the shitty thing about online dating is like it definitely makes you not consider options that you would normally consider. Because you can't like look at some a picture of someone and be like, yeah, I'm going to be attracted to that person. Because there's people that I know that probably if I never heard them speak or saw them move, like I'd be like, yes, that person is attractive. But like then, you know, but me knowing them now is disgusted but by that But then they had thought. a lisp and a limp. And yeah. you were like, <laughs> but not even, no. not even just that, <laughs> but Stop like. falling for these pirates. <laughs> there's uh, there's men funny. that are just like. <laughs> There's men that are just like so unbearable, like just their personality and their like whatever that even the thought of me being like I would be attracted to them if I didn't know what they were like is even disgusting to me. But like, uh, yeah, like they, there's no um, substitute for like that. Sometimes there's just like a chemistry that you feel even with someone that you wouldn't normally be attracted to. Like, I, I don't know that, you know the first person that I ever fell in love with, if I saw him on Tinder, I probably would not have swiped right. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you gotta have the, the, the feel of them and their charm and their whatever. So it like, yeah, like, I guess you got to have those physical requirements on online dating because that's all you have to go off of. But that, mm -hmm. that you're, you're missing out on something. Probably we should have old school. Like, uh, what was that reality show on MTV? The first Next. one. Next. Or no, the first one ever. Where they lived in a house. Like the first oh, reality uh, show. Cr- Big uh, Brother no, or uh, Real World? Real World. Real World. Yeah, yeah you yeah. should have to do like a Real World audition tape and that should be your, uh, <laughs> they do your have, dating profile. Do they have, they they do have voice, no, like where you can record like a voice thing so that people can hear your voice. Uh, I guess so that you avoid a situation Mouth where. Mouth breathers like me. You, <laughs> you just hear me going. <sighs> So I talk. I have such a fat throat. I'm such a mouth breather. Dude. I never noticed that. I've been noticing. I like. I my uh, allergies are always acting up. So I'm just constantly just like sniffing, and I, I didn't realize how annoying it was until I started doing this podcast. I'm like, Jesus, mm-hmm. it's, it seems like I'm like doing coke between episodes. Oh God, do you there guys? Was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what pushing. You guys the remember microphone. the fucking? Uh, I don't know if any of you guys watched the debate where Trump was like sniffing hard every yes. like yeah. seven yeah. seconds the of the whole sniff. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like what the fuck? Yeah, which yeah. like people, but but I have that problem too. I'm just like I I just like have a a runny nose. That's what that man has a lot of problems that we all have. Yeah, <laughs> that's part of how he got elected. Right. <laughs> Something just relatable about that guy. Yeah, for real. He sniffs like I do. <laughs> Uh, I uh, do you have a I have a dumb bitch news today. Okay. Uh, dumb bitch news. So. Dumb. So there was a uh, a man who said that he didn't want his work to throw him a birthday party, and they threw it for him anyway, and he Killed sued himself. them for four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in one. He won. He won. Oh, <laughs> uh, congratulations to that guy! Sick yeah. birthday present. <laughs> yeah, dude. Which honestly, like, and uh, uh, you know, because like, do you guys like, uh, you know, being sung happy birthday to and shit? I actually do. Do you? Yeah, I, yeah, I actually do. You seem like such a pleasant person. <laughs> I have my demons. You love, oh, oh! I didn't say you didn't, but you seem like I, you're like I love giving gifts. I ha- enjoy the birthdays, so like all the things I wish I could enjoy, yeah. but something's stopping me. You're just like, yeah, I love this that podcast. Shit. It's a horseshoe of just getting more and more rotten. <laughs> so it's like really nice, kind of nice, semi rotten, curdled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never had enough friends for a birthday party, like. I've I just have always kept people at a distance. Like I have a, a, a billion acquaintances all over the world. Yeah, I mean, I've always uh, the only way I have a birthday party is if someone else plans it and like invites everyone because I am 
I'm always like, oh, if I invite them, are they going to think it's weird that I invited them? What if we're not that close? What if they're like, fuck you, I don't want to come to your fucking birthday? You know, like, I don't know. It's the same as just me not wanting, me not asking people to hang out because I'm like, oh, me, they probably don't want to hang out with me or whatever. But uh, I also like, I like doing things with friends for my birthday, like just being around the people that I love. But I don't, I hate like being in a restaurant or something and then all singing happy birthday to me and then everyone turns and looks at me like I can't my face gets hot like I can't stand it it's like very I, fun to pick a random table and say it's their birthday and send people to sing <laughs> <laughs> to table, that's have other, you really done that a thousand times that's so funny. I'm gonna yeah. do that if I ever see Nicole in a restaurant yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you do me a favor that's Nicole it's her birthday yeah someone that uh, a friend of mine used to do that to me when I worked at Disneyland and I worked at Indiana and Jones and like you know there would be two different dispatch sites of like uh you would they would check your seat belts and then send you up to the next thing where they would check again or something like that and so the person that was at the first dispatch if I was at the second one they would always tell the car that it was my birthday and to sing me happy birthday so the whole car of people oh would come up singing happy birthday to me and this was just like every time we worked together he just like made cars full of people sing happy birthday to me and it was the worst that's a classic <laughs> so gary bad. peterson move that's totally something gary yeah, would do. Yeah, that's yeah. So former funny. guest of this oh. podcast he uh, he starts a lot of his sets off with Thank you guys for showing up to my birthday party. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and they really always funny. cheer for him every time. That's really <laughs> funny. It's a, when me and Gary first became friends and the first time he ever like called me, I was like, oh, this must be like important. Like Gary's calling me because like he had never, we, our, our friendship was on not at phone call level yet. But um, mm -hmm. this is the moment where I guess it became at phone call level. And I was like with my family and like kind of like left to go like answer the phone he was like hey I, I have this date tonight and i like i just wanted to like run some questions by like some talking points by you like some lines of, <laughs> of, like <laughs> stuff that i could ask her or like whatever and it was all just like he was just doing a whole bit yep. i was like did you write this bit for a phone call like yeah. what he's a genius <laughs> now you're funny. rehearsing the bit before the phone i call. Yes. Love that man. I miss him so much. Uh, we have certain characters that we he calls me. We do these characters at each other for like a half hour. Like, <laughs> we'll both be David Lee Roth from <laughs> Alien, and we'll just do it for like a half hour. It's so fun. Which one's David Lee Roth? Uh, the Van Halen singer. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Panama. <laughs> What? How yes, does the? Yes, how does? Okay. How does the impression go? Well, the thing is, for the David Lee Roth, you need to tell, like, talk a little bit in a radio voice, but give it a little bit of a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> but everything needs to end in Japanese mythology. So, <laughs> so there I was atop Sunset Boulevard, looking down at the empire I created, and I remembered the old ancient art of seppuku. So I decided to take a <laughs> stick and I was dragging it across my stomach, spilling my guts all over the hills. And I thought, God, it feels good to be alive. <laughs> 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 there was a radio I'm quality. I'm so surprised I could do that. I loved that. <laughs> uh, it was a good impression. I don't even know what he sounds yeah. like. And he was just like, oh, right. <laughs> it does that a lot. Yeah, yeah. There was something in, in, in your face that reminded me of like, like who was that? Weird Al? Adam Carolla? <laughs> that reminded me of somebody. You just the A part of your context? <laughs> <laughs> To a different character. Uh, <laughs> Al Gore? <Yeah. laughs> Al Britney Spears? <laughs> you know what? I, I kind of use people. like stuff like Al, like Weird Al as like a little bit of like a like a barometer for people. Because like if you don't like Weird Al, that's totally fine. But if you hate him, it's like you got to stay away from me. You know? <laughs> I respect that. I love Weird Al. When he came out with that album straight out of Linwood, I'd never been to L.A., so I just assumed it was like a funny joke about how he's from a rich suburb. And then I went to Linwood and I was like, God damn, Weird Al's from the hood. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> you know, like I had no respect for Weird Al for a, a little while because I just hated parodies. But then like I realized like because it, it's like it's like when when someone's the like original of, or someone is the person that made something popular everything becomes a parody of them basically like everything is just ripping off of them yeah. yes. so then even they seem like they're ripping off of them yes. um and so like since i was young or whatever like i didn't get like oh this man 
like made this like yeah. he that he made he's the guy he's the guy so i was just like oh i fucking hate parodies this is stupid but like yeah and then and then like i've gone back and listened to some of his like original stuff is really awesome uh and then like there's a uh, I didn't know the, he had original stuff. Yeah, he does yeah. have Most original albums. stuff. Uh, He's got some original, and then stuff. he does like these, like there's like the white boy polka or the something. compilations. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so great. I yeah, love that one's them. great. Yeah, yeah. he does the "I want to fuck you like an animal" nine inch nail song, but he puts instead of "fuck," he puts different farm animal sounds. <laughs> 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 It's one of the only things me and my nieces have been able to bond on because I don't, we don't understand each other at all. Yeah, uh, but they out. love Weird Al. Bridges the gap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's tr- like I, 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 uh, I should show my sister. I think uh, we need to be showing kids Weird Al because uh, my niece just went to a concert of his. Really? Yeah, she's like in deep. That's great. It's my only contribution. Yeah. To them as far as like their hobbies or whatever. Like we get along. I get them presents. We were fine. But like they've never. I'm a loser. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm just this weird guy who shows up once a year. <laughs> but I got the weird owl. I got her into that. So in her mind, I got something going. Yeah. <laughs> weird Al does, like, fun shows. Like, he'll go play the zoo. Like, he's just, like, a fun <laughs> fucking... Does he really? Yeah. Yes. He's a, just a fun dude. Yeah. Who, who does he play to? The animals? Well, there's, like, an amphitheater at, like, a lot of zoos that you can have. They'll have oh, concerts. Like, my church would always try to get her choir to sing there. And they're like, no. <laughs> uh, but my church choir sang at, like, a Great America and, like, some theme wow. parks. And oh, shit. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I've seen that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What denomination were you? Uh, evangelical Christian, like, Assemblies of God type of. Uh-huh. It was really, really watered down, bland, white, Portland, Oregon type of church. But it was, like, our church was the fourth largest church in Oregon, which is, like, 2,000 people. It's, like, they're trying to be a mega church, but there's just not enough yeah. crazy Christians up in the Pacific Northwest. That godless, to, to get one going. fucking yeah. hellhole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> yep, we would just go sing. Did you guys see that video of the person singing, like, acoustic guitar shit, Christian shit on the, in the airplane? Like no. I did see that. Yeah, no. There was a guy who was I, just I singing like God of Wonders it. on yeah. an airplane. It's like my church choir would do shit like that where we That's would terrorism. all just start singing <laughs> some some really bland acoustic Christian bullshit with like 17 different words and three different chords that last seven minutes. Evangelicals cannot fucking write music. He yeah, did be like, that on Jesus, an couldn't you yeah. couldn't you just that, hijack that is, the plane? I know. God damn. Just crash me into a fucking building. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, have some decency. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awful. Evangelical means that you like your main thing is recruiting, right? Yes, that's your main. Yeah. Yeah. Go throughout the world and spread the good news yeah, to yeah. all mankind. So, did you go on a that's mission? Information. To me. uh, no, that's like more Mormon. But I went to a church camp called Worldview Academy, mm-hmm. and it's like five or six days of just straight lectures. Like, there's no playing, there's no fun, there's no camp. You know, it's just like. You get an hour of free time in the morning, hour of free time at night, and then like seven to ten hours of just like religious lectures so that you can learn to defend your faith. And then at the end of the camp, they just unleash like 300 students onto like, you know, a college campus. And they're like, all right, go evangelize to these people like we taught you to, like go to this like giant indoor mall and just get out there and, and talk to some people about Jesus. Yum. Learning. It was horrendous. I feel like most it? most yeah. religions, like their tactic is to be like, cool when recruiting like they're like what yeah the fuck like are you talking about in their mind no, what they like, think is what cool. they think yeah. is cool yeah, yeah they're like cool. they're like hey kids like it's cool to be christian like yeah, look yeah. at all the cool stuff we did but like, like dragon ball z yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you guys kids like the rap music yeah. uh well yeah. my name is jesus and i'm here to say um but yeah like <laughs> but they they were just like White evangelicals were definitely the ones that tried to make church cool. They're like, we have got like a pool table at our youth group. Yeah, Bring yeah, your yeah. friends. So the guy's <laughs> like, playing a guitar solo behind his neck. But it still sucks. But at the <laughs> same time, they were like, here's seven hours of lecture. Yeah. <laughs> what were the interactions? How old were you? Just out of curiosity. Um, I was in that? high school and junior high. I think they took high school and junior high okay. age. Okay. And then like, what were what were the interactions like? Um, the first one that I did, we went to Pioneer Square in downtown Portland, Oregon. And uh, there was this one guy and he was sitting there and he was like rolling something to smoke. I was too young to know what it was. Mm-hmm. I don't, it could in Portland, it could be weed or just like his own tobacco. Some people are just hipsters Herbal like cigarette, that. Maybe could a have been anything. Cigarette. He was just sitting down. He was trying to roll it. And we go up and talk to him, and he's like trying to ignore us. 
and like just being like really like I don't want to talk I don't want to talk and we're just like well we've been told to just keep hammering you with this bullshit and he just got up and left sure and I was happy about it because I was like I don't want to talk to someone who doesn't want to fucking talk to me yeah but then occasionally you'll find the person who does want to talk about religion and that actually sucks more because <laughs> then you just have to have a conversation with this motherfucker who's oh, just telling like you atheist podcaster type who wants to go back and forth with you or even just like some like woman who's spiritual uh, and you're like oh yeah, fuck yeah, you're like, so. they're like I love what you're doing out here and like what do you think of this and I'm like I don't want to debate you I'm trying to get you to come to church with me yeah. I never had to do that but I can kind of relate because I used to work at a uh, at, for the UCLA's call center when I went to UCLA where you had to like call alumni and mm -hmm. ask for donations mm -hmm. and like you always had to start off the conversation by just being like oh hey like I'm a student at UCLA just making sure that your information is all updated so what have you been I see that you um graduated uh, with a degree in political science I'm a, I'm a political science major too like what did you what what do you do now because people love to talk about what they do now and whatever just to get them to talk to you and then you hit them with the money thing it always felt very yeah. deceitful and it was annoying and I hated doing it and yep. same thing like I would always be like please don't answer please don't answer or like if they would just like hang up on me I'd be like thank god like you know oh, god. I loved it when people just walk away from yeah me. yeah because yeah. Then, like, then if they didn't, I actually had to talk to them. And then, like, a lot of times I would spend, like, 30 minutes talking to someone and then be like, all right, well, can you donate, like, $20 to, the co to like, your old college day? And they'll be like, oh, no. And I'm like, then why did I just spend 30 minutes talking to you, bitch? Like, <laughs> it was awful. Oh. See, I, I just realized I just realized that was stupid because basically the rule was as long as they were engaging, you had to talk with them. Mm hmm I'm a fucking... So I was raised Buddhist. Okay. So when people would come up to me, I'd just be like, yeah, I don't I don't want to... Like, I'm Buddhist. I've, I've, I've been to churches. Like, I'm. that's just my thing. So but we're... And they would keep engaging. And what would eventually happen is... And this got worse as I stopped being as religious because this is not a very Buddhist thing to do. I would just stay there and eventually I'd get mad and tell them to fuck off. Because it would sometimes be 30 minutes of me going, no, no, no. Yeah. That, like... And in my head, I'm like, no, I'm not going to, like, it didn't even occur, occur to me to just walk away yeah. from them because yeah. that's rude. So instead, I'd just sit there and then get angry after a certain point because they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah. Honestly, like, if you're ever and being, that... like, witnessed to by a Christian, just, like, pull up a gay porn video on your phone and hold it up to them and they'll walk away. <laughs> oh, that's their garlic? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really <laughs> repels them. Or, or if you really want to fuck with their head, straight porn, but it's with them in it. That would really <laughs> love <laughs> Is this you? <laughs> yeah. I, when I was like fucking preaching to people, like you'd sit there and you would like pray and you're like, God, just like tell me who to go up to. Who do you want me to talk to? And then when I was like being, like when someone came up to me once and I was just sitting outside of an old Navy and they were like, hey, I just want to talk to you about God and ask if you go to church. I'm like, I'm on my way to church right now. I'm waiting for my fucking mom to get out of old Navy so we can go to church. And I thought that, I thought he, that would get him to go away. But then he just kept talking to me about mm -hmm. Jesus. And I'm like, oh, it's because you think God told you, go talk to that little brown girl outside the old Navy. Yeah. That'd be and a he... weird way for God to say that. <laughs> God's pretty racist. Yeah. <laughs> you got some old Southerner. But you know this, mo it's this God, motherfucker. the brown one. Yeah. <laughs> I told him I go to church every Wednesday and every Sunday. And he was like, well, going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than being in a garage makes you a car. And I was like, Ugh. I want to kill you. I want to get violent. So that made me really, really not want to do the witnessing shit. Yeah. Because once I was going to these camps, like, I've been on the other side of this. And I know I'm annoying you. Like, I could see the fucking look in these people's faces when they were like, get away from me. But I'm a kid, so these adults yeah. can't be that shitty. Did you ever Did you ever pray and feel like, oh, I should go up to that person? Oh, absolutely. All the time. Really? Yeah. You like you saw a person, you're like, I'm supposed to go up to that person. Yeah. I'd be like, God, who do you want me to talk to today? And uh, I like I would just fucking terrify me every single time. But I, I was trying to like when you're trying to feel God and you just constantly feel nothing, you just push yourself further and further to be like, 
you know, the Bible says like, like draw unto me and I will draw unto you. So I'm like, all right, let me go towards God and he'll show up soon. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, no, there's nothing. You're like there. a gay guy trying to convince yourself. You really like pussy. Absolutely. Like, you're just like, I love pussy. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. So hot. These fucking whores. I just want to <laughs> yeah. get at them all. <laughs> oh like man. Manifesting I just... schizophrenia. Yeah. It really is. Oh, it's like yeah. work, working really hard to really believe this voice in your head no, and to absolutely. follow it. Absolutely. I had a mental <laughs> breakdown at the end of the summer where I was trying to get as close to God as possible. It ended in me just like lying on the floor, shaking, thinking I was demon possessed for like 45 minutes. Oh man. <laughs> the star of the show. Uh, no, it was during one of our, <laughs> it's during one of our church concerts and I wasn't singing in the concert because mm -hmm. I was really self-conscious about the fact that like we were singing at like this, like men's Christian shelter for like homeless drug addicts on the street. So it was like a bunch sure. of men where they the need church, music. the church was telling them that they couldn't like talk to women at all. Cause then they would want to have premarital sex. And so the only time they saw women was when our youth choir showed up to Ugh, sing for them. And Lord. like a lot of these guys would say creepy ass shit to my like sisters and stuff. And so when I graduated at a high school and I knew we were going to go sing to these like teen challenge centers, I just told the church choir, I was like, I feel sick. I don't want to go on stage. Like I did not want to be stared at. Yeah. And then I felt so wow. guilty about it that I thought I was demon possessed. See, that's, that's when you like, press people that much and be like you can't even talk to women then like even a choir becomes sexual yeah. like that's insane. Well, no, yeah, we're only marching gir little girls in front of you yep. to keep you safe <laughs> that yep. is, uh... what are you insane they won't, <laughs> they won't fuck the high schoolers meanwhile all these guys were like hey my room's like 208 come on come on yeah. and you're like uh you know Good Lord. oh my yep. god and they were like look at those fucking choir robes hot Oh, not even choir robes, jeans and t-shirts, baby, oh, a Christian wow. t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. When did you, when did you decide that you weren't going to, or I guess you can't, when did you figure out that you weren't religious anymore? Oh, uh, I was 25. I, I had, um, uh, yeah, I was 25 years old. What happened was I, I went to college and I did not have enough money to go. It was 2008, the market crashed, my dad lost his job. And so after my sophomore year, I had to drop out. But I was like praying and praying and praying. And I was like, God will supply me with the money that I need to stay in college. And then he didn't. And then it took me like four or five years after that to be like, what did I do wrong? Because in Christian church, they're like, if you pray for a miracle and a miracle doesn't show up, either you did something wrong or God oh did something wrong. God. What do you think is more likely? And so I was like, what did I do wrong? I thought I was doing everything right. Perfect you know, con. Yeah, I was praying every yeah. day, like, God, if there's anything in my life that is getting in the way of my relationship with you, just let me know and I'll get rid of it. And just like, please let me stay in college. And I still had to drop out. And then it took me like, yeah, four or five years to be like, I didn't do anything wrong. God just isn't real because none of this is real. Fuck, dude. Right. There's just like all these kids growing up thinking like, I'm broken because I can't hear God and mm -hmm. I can't like and yeah. I'm my miracles aren't coming true and like oh my god yeah I would sit in the youth group and listen to these other kids that were like you know I'm just like I, I just want to have a praise report about how I finally have a relationship with God I'm like you're talking to this person who smokes weed and blows dudes in the fucking janitor's closet and I'm doing everything right and you won't fucking talk to me like I could not understand why God had nothing to say to me That's, right oh man that's yeah. That's gotta. That's gotta that's fuck you, you up. That's you have to blow dudes the janitor. I, I should have fucking been blowing all of none of the white kids at my youth group wanted a blow job off me though. Honestly, I uh, they were chasing the ugly white girls. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Specifically uh, the ugly ones. I feel <laughs> like they were probably chasing the ugly white guys. <laughs> is what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Uh, the the only I, I always being choosy about blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> no one like no one ever hit on me. No one ever tried to hold my hand. So like whenever like guys are trying to tell me like like oh men are just like they're so horny they just want to fuck anything. I'm like no I know that they can desexualize women because that's how I grew up. We need to stop saying that. <laughs> that needs to stop being a thing. Yeah. Uh, for a, a lot of reasons. What needs to stop being a thing? That just telling women that like guys just want to fuck anything anywhere all the time like i mean some guys do but they're not the guys that girls want to fuck they're <laughs> right. typically well, psychos yeah i think yeah, like psychos don't get laid it 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 but you can first of all it's like <laughs> there's a lot of psycho women that fuck psycho dudes psychos yeah, i was kidding psychos they can fuck each other Bob, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was sarcasm sorry but like <laughs> i was homeschooled i don't know i don't pick up on social cues <laughs> 
Dude, no fucking way. How yeah. long were you homeschooled? I was homeschooled the whole way up. I was homeschooled till sixth grade. I like, I wanted, so, yeah, I wanted to go to school. Mm. And I also like, I was, I was unschooled. So like I taught myself how to read you and all that. You were homeschooled <laughs> Buddhist. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was, I mean, they what were What does Buddhist. unschooled mean? Unschooled means... It means you're homeschooled they, and that's not a real word. They take... <laughs> like, they take what you would learn in a school and they go, like, forget all of this. Uh, you know, the They're, frogs are gay because of the stuff in the water no, or whatever. No, that's, 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 called, that's called radio. Uh, <laughs> no, like, no, no, it's just like uh, there wasn't really much of any... Str- like, I was... Basically, I was just by myself with books... And I like time, and my mom like would read to me and stuff. But she like it was this thing. It was this like weird. It was a phase where you like don't actively teach the kid. The kid has to like basically learn. It's basically like to have your kid be an autodidact, and you can right. only yeah. autodidact to a certain point with some shit. Yeah, I, I've read so is many. That where you, is that where you read with a belt around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> There. Like I've read so many books, I've read, read like thousands of books. Most of it was when I was like homeschooled and stuff. But I can't math to save my fucking life, mm. right? And See, I never really figured out when I, I went back to school. My, and my mom did like some some stuff. Yeah, there just wasn't. Um, it was mostly me kind of figuring shit out on my own. So you guys learned education. everything the way that most kids learn about sex. Like just yeah. figure it out. Yeah, Go like just it pieces, looking it up on yeah. <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you get a lot of wrong books information under their blanket with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. No, I, was, I wonder if uh, a lot of the people were staying away from you because maybe you came across as an actual believer. That might have also and been. I think a lot too. of them like we're, we're like we're not really buying this shit. So yeah. let, let's leave her alone because she's <laughs> like buying into this. You know what? A, a guy that I went to college with, my college was Christian too. He told me that like um, in the youth groups they would like split you up to talk about sex and and you know I didn't know what they were telling the boys and the boys didn't really know what they were telling the girls. The, the one of the boys at my college told me that. His youth pastor told him, pay attention to which girls are worshiping the hardest because they're like the freakiest in bed, essentially, (laughs) to try to get the guys horny for good Christian women. (laughs) Oh, to get married and make more. Yeah. Uh, Ah, okay. Wow. You don't have to be freaky to make a kid. Yeah. Well, no, but they they wanted the I know, get them all fired. Yeah, I get it. I get what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. What a fucking... (laughs) That's Dude, it's like I would say about 50% of comedians have severe religious trauma. That's what I've... It I've, makes comedians. Yeah, it yeah. It fucking does. It really does. Like, I, I I, did not experience that growing up. So, like, talking to so many people. And it, and it's in every different kind of religion, too. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend grew up Orthodox Jewish. And, like, it's there's all kind... And that's the same thing. They were split up, boys and girls, and they yeah. weren't allowed to talk to each other. And it's just... It's all, like... Yeah, you grew that, up with some. Yeah, Jews are hand down the best. Thing. Any religion that is against recruiting, more of oh, them. Oh hell yeah! As, as more I, love the Jews. <laughs> I love fucking the Jews. love Orthodox the Jews. is a lot. I just I don't I don't really give a shit either way. It's just the fact that they're not trying to get me to join their team. No, that was I respect the <laughs> shit out of that. I would I would be like when I started Christians going to the school, worst. I would be yeah. very like open about the fact that I was Buddhist. So I get fucking bullied a lot. Like I was thinking about the way here. There was one time a guy was like, "So you're you're boot- that means if I hit you, you can't hit me back, right?" And I was like, "Uh oh, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> here come the punches. Yeah, and I thought because there's like there's like a fa- <laughs> there's like a one of I guess the it would be like the Buddhist equivalent of a psalm or or uh, you know, but there's a, a story about like a man who attained Buddhahood and they went to execute him because Buddhism wasn't legal. I went to execute him, and he told him, like, you're not going to be able to execute me. And as they were bringing the sword down, a meteor shower started and scared him off. They refused to touch him after that because they thought that... He made it happen. Yeah. And that is not what happened when this guy fucking hit me. It, I, it was you got no, a fist shower? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't beat the fight, but he just, like, punched me real hard in the gut. And I was just like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like... 
yeah, your God sounds dope, dude. Like, I don't know what the fuck you want from me right now. But, um, but every time I'd bring it up, I like the Jew- Jews never gave a fuck. And the Jews would also, when I started talking about it, they all kind of like look at me like, ah, he hasn't figured it out yet. You got to shut the fuck up about this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Christians, he's taking the heat off of us. You know, like that, that reminds me of the, uh, the, the there were these girls in high school that would do this thing and I don't I don't think it was like a real thing that like everyone was doing I think it was just something that they were doing at my high school that they just decided as a group of Christian girls that they were going to do where they would put red tape over their mouths and like it would be like silence for like aborted babies yeah, or sure. whatever good and uh, if that's how you feel about it. Tape it up. They tape them, and I'm like, "How I is want that protest to catch on?" Yeah, yeah, for real. How All the annoying movements, right? Like that's so counterintuitive. So you could like go up and say whatever the fuck you wanted to them, and they just had to shut the fuck up. And yeah, it's yeah. like, how does that help? Like, how is being silent protesting? It's like, good for personal growth. But as far as ending abortion, not helpful. Yeah. Well, it sounds like they want to tape up their genitals in this situation. Like, because that would be the ultimate protest. Well, not their just... own genitals. Yeah. That... Other people's genitals. <laughs> tape up a dick so you can't make any unwanted pregnancy. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, I, the, the, the thought of, like, me being... And which people do that people do silent protests where they're like, I'm not going to talk until this happens. Like, what... What do you think that's going to do? People are going to be like, oh, no, we want this person to talk. We better do <laughs> this, what they... This is before what? social media where yeah. people valued conversation. <laughs> yeah. Now that we all know what each other think, we want nothing more than to hear what they think. <laughs> right. Well, same with, like, people who, like, um, didn't didn't Gandhi, like, starve himself? Yeah. A lot, of, lot of them did. Yeah, a lot of, like... That's that's, like a, who is them? Prisoners. Is that, that's, yeah, I was going to say that's a popular one in, in jail. Yeah. That's assuming that people are good people who care more about your well-being than whatever they want to do. No, I think it's like, if it's somebody like Gandhi, is that if they starve to death in prison, it's... It, it, that he has millions of followers. Yeah. So letting him uh, die, they're worried about the consequences. Of, so then he, so it's like he can't be violent, but he can. But the repercussions die. of them letting him die might be devastating. Mm-hmm. It's a pacifist way to fight back. It's calling That's their bluff. Very interesting. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. Uh, yeah. yeah, like MLK did the same thing where they're like, if you you know sit at this restaurant or whatever, you're going to get arrested. And he was like, okay. And then once he's arrested, they're like. Okay, now all the black people are mad that we put him in jail over some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they they they're like, uh, I don't want you to fight. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, no, that's um, that's a good tactic, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to uh, protest something, what do you think is the most effective? Um, I, I mean, like, I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna get pretty messy here, like, really soon. I, I think that Crystal Lee is, means, but I I'm think that Crystal Lee is show at the improv, his Crystal Lee and Friends is gonna get canceled. But if it doesn't, I was gonna go out there with the sign that says, like, Hollywood improv, like, no more Crystal Lee, please only book the funny rapists. <laughs> <laughs> and so. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. I run so, a show there, and I fully support that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just like trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, you know what? And uh, we'll we'll go into this because you just Buffoonery. came. You yeah. just <laughs> you just came out with a mini special called uh, "Sex Criminal," yeah. which is uh, it's spelled with a C K. Like yeah, Louis sex C. K. sex spelt with a C, criminal spelled, spelled with, with a K. K. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, just about like how much I fucking can't stand Crystal because after he got fucking canceled i like just started thinking of some jokes about him just because like people that i knew were defending him and i was like you you sound so fucking dumb right now so i had like seven minutes of jokes that i was gonna do what i liked about it was that like so many people try to make their point on one way or another by just like being you were funny like, that's the thing is that's the best way to make your point. That's the best way to make people listen to you is that's to what make I was them thinking. laugh. And also because like, I was thinking like, all right, if I make like a, you know, a, a, t- a two minute TikTok 
where I'm just talking about why Chris D'Elia sucks. It's like, who's going to click on that? Who's going to listen to it? Who's going to share? Like, who gives a fuck? You know? Yeah. And at the same time, like, then Chris D'Elia could send his lawyers after me for, like, defamation of character or some shit, which he fucking does all the time to people. But I'm like, if I do jokes, he can't fucking sue me over jokes or else he loses all credibility as a comedian. So I'll just be like, he's a ra rapist as, like, a fucking joke. You know? Yeah. I loved it when uh, you you said um, something like, uh, I don't remember if it was about Louis C.K. or whoever, but uh, there was, uh, you talked about Michael Vick and how oh, he yeah. uh, <laughs> dedicated himself to, to, you know, animal stuff yeah. and all this and whatever. And you're like, if, 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 if you want us to like let you back in, you better do what Michael Vick did and start advocating for bitches. Yeah. And I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I you really know, like apologize and then advocate for bitches. Yes. Do it, you know, <laughs> like, what do you fucking like? You, you can't just like be a piece of shit and be like, all right, well now I'm going to stop. It's like, but you know, there's still more pieces of shit out there. You're not going to do anything about the fucking rest of it. Like if you're willing to stop, then you know, it's wrong. So if you know what's wrong, why don't you fucking start talking to these guys? Cause you know how they fucking think. Yeah. And like, they're not going to listen to me. They're going to roll their eyes and call me Hannah Blacksby. You know, they got to listen to like a fucking. <laughs> Has that ha is that, that seems very uh, almost, specific to that. Happen? I almost named, I almost named sex criminal Hannah Blacksby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because I was like, this is going to be fucking preachy. Is that my phone beeping? Uh, I thought um, uh, I thought that it, it was funny. Um, and uh, yeah, that was a, a check out. Check out Sex Criminal. It's on I wanna, YouTube. I want to check it out. Yeah. The funniest thing to me about the Delia thing was his apology was like, I know I tell some pretty edgy jokes sometimes. <laughs> it did nothing to do with what the fuck was happening. Also, and just the doesn't. whole thing. But I'm, like, not, oh, I'm also not, <laughs> other than that, point I, i'm not educated on any of any, his like, nonsense I'd be, I'd be speaking out of my ass i've never liked <laughs> crystalia i am looking Same. into it yeah i yeah. don't no. i don't have anything to say other than i'm aware he did creep ass shit and anything beyond that is me talking out of my ass i don't think i've ever watched any of his comedy so i don't i don't know much about it at all uh, but uh, we will uh, finish on this because this is a question that I always ask. Uh, what do you think is the worst part of being alive? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to fucking plug my own shit. I do think that it's like fucking lunatics like Crystalia who just are, are mean to people because they fucking can be. You know, uh -huh. he's just a miserable motherfucker because he feels like he's allowed to be. He feels like he deserves to treat people. Like, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with your brain? I sincerely think like the worst part of being alive is the motherfuckers that make life miserable. It's like, people. just fucking chill. <laughs> no, for real. People are the worst part of Bad being alive. People. Actually, yeah. Good people I can't are the best part of being been alive. <laughs> Bad people are the worst part of being alive. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, this has been Everything Hurts. Uh, and uh, I've been Nicole Buchanan. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Fucking life sucks. Everything hurts.